topic, a topic in the development of our state, Ukraine, because there are many questions that are raised about the development that Ukraine is lacking middle class for the development of economic democratic processes in order to successfully build our state. Middle class, what are the ways to form it? What is the basis? What are preconditions should be introduced at the legislative level and a social and economic level? What standards should be implemented in order to have democratic Ukrainian society you aspire to? And we want this Ukraine for our children. So, dear friends, we are going to discuss the issues about not only problems, but ways how to develop our country with different speakers that deal with these issues at different levels. They have their professional opinion on it, and they are going to share their opinion with us. So we have here uh, deputies of AIDS Convocation and public activists Anna Gabko and Viktor Romanyuk. Also, uh, Executive Power uh, Representative Vladislava Rutnitska, um, Deputy Minister of Agrarian Policy and Food of, uh, um, of Ukraine on European integ uh, Integration. So, uh, also, there should be scientific and educational basis for development. And Tatiana Kaminsky is a representative of um, a Kiev Cooperative Institute of Business and Law. And also, a very good mix of, of public position and social responsible business. These are represented by Zernovi Svereda, president of Ukraine Cooperative Alliance, and also Vasil Nazaruk, social investment program director, Western NIS Enterprise Fund. And also together with us is Katerina Smagli, um, um, representative of Canon University. So, dear friends, we are going to voice our positions, and there will be a framework of five minutes of your speech to each of the speaker. And then we have here a lot of young people. They have their views on the situation, and they will join the discussion. And we will speak with the audience. So first, I would like to give the floor to prominent journalist and People's Deputy of Ukraine, Anna Gabko. I would like to remind that she is a coordinator of rehabil uh, rehabil uh, Rehabilitation Package of Reform and a candidate of Sciences on Social Communication and uh, Human Rights Advocate and uh, Specialist on Communication. So, Anna, you are given the floor. Thank you. So. Uh, there will be a meeting in 15 minutes, so I will be brief as pro what are the proposals, what are the steps of the coalition of um, expert communities and business representatives of the members of parliament, what can be done in order to uh, bring a uh, middle class uh, through social entrepreneurship and through creation of cooperatives. In the, at the end of 2014, uh, there were some changes to tax code and uh, more money stays in the region, but we should broaden responsibility and help United Territorial Communities who are uh, voluntarily uh, united and they benefit from this unification. They share resources, they solve their problems jointly, and last year we organized um, uh, two ambassadors of reforms, and they help territorial communities. And uh, what can I say? Decentralization in Ukraine is supported by international donors, and I would like to every one join, and this is more than $170 million from EU, Canada, the United States, Japan, and the uh, uh, Great Seventh 
uh, countries. So this money should be spent not by, uh, just for um, uh, experts b and uh, brochure trainings carrying out some events. Of course, this is important to share the experience, but now it's time of practical things. These are practical initiatives. We discussed it uh, with uh, Zinoyan and communities should open small enterprises, agricultural enterprises, or uh, they can produce some uh, fruits and vegetables, and there should be more innovative ideas uh, to uh, develop Depre uh, depressive regions. So the motto is we should effectively control through cooperation with um, international donors and the ministries. People should voice their position and this, mo this money for decentralization should be for um, practical work to create employment and they uh, distract people from alcohol and uh, excessive consumption and to create uh, social infrastructure. Also, there are funds of the State uh, Fund of Regional Development. There are more than four billion. And as deputies, we wrote a request in order to monitor the situation because there were instances of corruption because they provided money to some uh, proxies, uh, deputies, and th this money was spent not for development but to, to uh, patch some holes and for some projects that do not create employment and do not develop the region. Also, I would like to say that what is important, last week we were with Katerina Smagli, she organized an exhibition in the framework of cultural diplomacy in Canon Institute. Uh, we asked Americans and our international donors that they would give us c uh, credits for at a low rate, and we asked IMF uh, to provide us money with the macroeconomic situation, but we need funds in order that small and medium-sized business could take money um, at a low uh, rate and to uh, modernize equipment and uh, involving new technologies. That's why this, uh, what can Parliament do um, to help volunteers and social activists to take good examples, best practices. We also discussed the issues with uh, uh, World Economic Forum and uh, the, uh, the one of the founders, Schwab, Mr. Schwab, uh, I am uh, one of the participants of the global network and your initiatives uh, are important and we can bring experts here and to find the ways of cooperation. So these are examples in the practical sphere that would help us develop and to become a driver for the development, both social entrepreneurship and employment of people. This is a change of philosophy from paternalism, that the people believe that everything should be done by the state, uh, to the initiative of people and creation of responsible society that plan the strategy and develop its regions, districts. And this is real decentralization of free people who feel the spirit of responsibility. So we are ready for cooperation. We conducted meetings. So we worked on many things. And we should involve different associations that work uh, actively with um, heads of uh, village councils. Uh, sorry, uh, I'm not able uh, now to um, uh, stay. I should leave. So these are first steps. And I uh, hope that we will report on the results during the next press conference. So um, thank you very much, Anna, for your position. And now the key movements, uh, this is quality decentralization, uh, grants for effective realization in real projects uh, in rural areas, uh, European grants and system of crediting at uh, low rates, and uh, it is interesting what our next speakers in the city does think about it. This is the president of Ukraine Cooperative Alliance, uh, Cooperative of uh, Ukraine that uh, promote actively this. So uh, he cooperated with uh, different uh, cooperative uh, movements. And what about the prospects? What about the projects? So Anna told us, could you deliberate in more detail on this? Dear participants of discussion, 
we thought about these issues a lot about entrepreneurship and social entrepreneurship. This is the only way to carry out the programs and the uh, implementation of reforms and initiatives that can be carried out after the revolution of dignity in Ukraine. Because the formation of the middle class as the basis of uh, society where the rights are guaranteed and uh, where every person knows uh, how to transfer from poverty to middle class and then to uh, prosperity. So there should be a proper plan and we should uh, create sustainable development. And I would like to um, uh, tell you about cooperation because there are so, uh, such words as cooperation, solidarity, uh, taking care about one another and cooperative as a legal entity created by physical or legal persons in order to meet its demands. And uh, these are the principles of cooperation and voluntarily, uh, volunt uh, voluntary participation and taking um, part voluntarily, because when we are speaking about success of one or another law, uh, there is no success because they are not discussed with the public. We should know real needs of people, and in this way we could create really effective laws. Economic participation, this is the phenomenon of uh, cooperation, participation of people. A person value only those things uh, where uh, he or she contributes, not the state financing a program, but there should be be formation of a uh, real owner who controls his own life. Uh, education is also important for the development, and uh, we can improve our economic situation. We should um, educate our society, and we know that uh, the sociological survey was carried out and it was seen that this is not only the matter of funds the main problem not uh, the capital but uh, impossibility to realize uh, um, potential also uh, cooperation between cooperatives so communities that are ready to unite to solve some uh, problems of the region and also taking care of society. Th this um, seven principles that are important now. What are the main problems of cooperative sector? Cooperative, they do not have problems. They are created in order to solve them. So the main problem is lacking of cooperative principles, so the main reform that should be is to get rid of myths, and we should think about the categories of science and practice. And here is unique experience that we had Ukrainian cooperatives till 1939. Uh, uh, there were organizations and there was capital in the communities, and now we need to um, incorporate education on, uh, also in the community because uh, uh, the success of the cooperative was that professors, they were among people in the community, and together with them, they planned the development of one or another territory. So the matter of this uh, cooperative thing is to create the overhaul market of, from producer to consumer, and when we form new market and we place a person in this, at the center, and uh, understanding the moral values, uh, we can choose the product that we consume and cooperation in the world. It is developed in different areas in agriculture and also um, there is some um, cooperative in energy sphere and infrastructure and also social entrepreneurship what is important about it. There were pioneers who took responsibility to bring information about social entrepreneurship to people, not only to solve some problems, but to bring new economic culture, because in the center of this idea is cooperation and human values, and there are uh, some manuals on this, and uh, the successful cooperation uh, from, we should 
change our focus from the state to forming responsible citizens who take responsibility for their actions. And these are real reforms. This is a mission and philosophy that requires new way of life, creation of a new person. And these innovative things, they bring reforms. And in the course of discussion, we will make overview of other topics. Thank you, Zinovi, for your position. And it's very, it was really interesting. <coughs> and we continue our discussion. State reforms should be directed at social entrepreneurship and cooperation. It is interesting to know the opinion of Viktor Romanyuk. He is an activist and political activist, and uh, we know you are not only public and political activist, but you have experience of social entrepreneurship. Could you tell us about your experience? So you be, uh, were at both sides, and what are the prospects and real steps to achieve success? Good afternoon, dear friends. I'm Romanyuk Viktor Nikolaevich. I will start with the fact that I lived abroad. I saw that society, and I tried to find differences. So as a philosophy, um, we are close to uh, Western societies, but Western society built on entrepreneurship and uh, education. The level of education is not really high now because we have uh, some problems, but education is OK, but uh, we are lagging behind in entrepreneurship. In 1997, when the process of first cooperative enterprises started, only 5% got profit from entrepreneurship in the household. And if we take the structure of our society, only 5% get only 5% of household get profit from entrepreneurship. So the um, middle class and uh, is not formed. We say that we should change political elite, but this is the wrong way, because society generates classes, classes form the elites, and elites form the direction of the state. That's why it creates the situation in which the country lives. And some background. So before French Revolution and after French Revolution, um, this um, are two different things in, term or in terms of the budget of the funds. And when uh, we take the budgets of the revolution here in Ukraine, the, the um, finances are, are the same. So uh, only those people, so um, people who are supported by the state, they only grow, and um, entrepreneurship is lagging behind. So, and th this year we reached a peak, and our indicators is at the level of Venezuela. Sixty-three uh, percent of Ukrainians get subsidies for uh, communal services. Fifty-three percent get profits from the state bu budget. Fifty percent of public finance go to uh, vulnerable people. So we did not grow the class of middle class, but we formed people who depend from the state how to break the circle. The only way out is to create the class of people who do not depend on state and that are ready to generate new philosophy of life. People want to work. They want to create new initiatives, and uh, they want to be responsible for their own life. They gather people who think alike, and they generate the model, and they generate responsibility for their own life, the life of community, city, and so on and so forth. And together with Zinovi, we lived in Italy, 
and uh, there, uh, there were many examples where one community flourished and you go along the way 30 kilometers and uh, other people live in poverty. So in richer communities, they take initiatives and others just wait. So um, people here, many people just sit and wait. A majoritarian deputy, and uh, there is a uh, um, rather prosperous region near Kiev. And I was impressed by the fact that there was uh, an inflow of uh, foreign capital, and uh, there were about 50 billion. And you remember that prices went high on land, and many people who lived there, they got capital from the sale of these lands, but no one became richer. They remained at the same level because people didn't start to generate ideas and to become entrepreneur, entrepreneurs. They just spent uh, the money. So no matter how much the state provides, it changes nothing in terms of growth. One more example is selling Kriverovstal Enterprise. Ukraine got financial resources through uh, the use of the resources of previous generations, about 4 billion, and we increased pensions and some social benefits, and it didn't give any effect to the state. The model should be like this. People should understand that we can spend only the money, f especially for social benefits, and uh, other money should be spent for the development. People should be responsible, and sh they should be aware that this is a resource they earned. I support your opinion, but how to make this change in the minds of people? Let's, uh, yes. Um, I would like to say about the Buhivsky region, and uh, we have made surveys there, and we made the conclusion that we should develop entrepreneurship initiatives locally. And I started to monitor this information through the internet and understanding how French and Italian models work, and we made the conclusion that the only way how to build a self-organization is to stimulate people around the ideas of entrepreneurship and around the ideas that we should develop these public initiatives. And in Abukhevsky and Sikhevsky region, we carried out these trainings and there were several projects. We provided grants. And unfortunately, it didn't uh, yield great results because people, they wait, uh, they get something from the state. And secondly, state provides some free financial resources uh, they provide some land, and people want just to get these land plots rather than taking initiatives in their own hands. And uh, we should create all Ukrainian movement in order to create examples. Because uh, one and a half years ago, when I became a deputy, I spoke openly to my voters and I s told them about the consequences and th that the situation will deteriorate, that the class of people who are active, it decreases and there are objective economic laws that we cannot reject. That's why we see that we should create a good examples and to popularize ideas. And when there will be a peak, when the government won't be able to provide money to vulnerable categories, they should be provided with an idea, and it will give a prospect and will give opportunities to you and your children. So how this idea can be communicated to people on the grassroots level uh, to change uh, the style of their thinking, they should learn new knowledge. 
and skills. Uh, Vasil Nazaruk uh, has a very good experience because uh, he is not only the manager of uh, and top manager of uh, social entrepreneurship trainer uh, who works with brains, uh, putting into the brains good models of social entrepreneurship development. Uh, uh, I would like to organize this discussion. Uh, I listed uh, the issues which concern development of social entrepreneurship. I have comments to my colleagues' uh, statements. Uh, Western NAS Enterprise Prize, uh, where, where I'm a program director, uh, this is the technical assistance program in Ukraine. And in this case, I represent the program of social investing, and even the name is prominent here. This means social investments, investments into social area, which can be received in the form of grants, but we don't give grants even for development of an, uh, enterprises because uh, previously we did so. We provided grants since 2004, but the effects were not high. We didn't receive good results. Our goal as a fund and social investment program is uh, to make it so that people take responsibility. The problem is relevant because there is no money in the national budget for social sphere, and, uh, while the number of uh, vulnerable groups of population increased, and all of them uh, want to have privileges to be granted by the state. Our uh, goal is uh, to uh, provide assistance to those people who are ready to make something for which they will be responsible, uh, who are going to produce, generate their own ideas. Uh, we uh, are going to uh, provide assistance to something sustainable. That is why we focused on social entrepreneurship, the business, which is established in order to earn and maintain financial stability and share your profits in to resolve social and environmental problems in the communities. That is why in our program uh, we have developed uh, the mechanism of loans, affordable loans to such social entrepreneurs. I would like to uh, remind you what Anna Gabko said today, that the priority is cheap loans for entrepreneurs who are going to develop something uh, which they invent on their own. I analyzed the programs which uh, had been implemented jointly with banks that were there was one big problem. All resources provided by uh, international financial institutions for small and medium-sized enterprises, uh, the loans uh, were provided uh, in hard currency, and the banks were uh, banks were supposed to provide loans at low interest. Uh, uh, but they provided loans uh, in grimness. That is why they were no uh, loans at small interest. Uh, loans were provided at 15% uh, interest rates. Uh, uh, there are very uh, few entrepreneurs who can afford to take loans at 15% interest rate. Uh, so uh, after we have analyzed those histories of providing loans, we decided that we are going to fund the loans f to social entrepreneurs from UNICEF uh, uh, 
uh, loans are provided at 5 uh, to 10 percent uh, rates uh, up to 10 million hryvnas of principal in now amount. Uh, this interest rate is low and affordable. Uh, uh, the situation, economic situation is uh, complicated in Ukraine and uh, banks would like to see only liquid money uh, as <clears throat> uh, 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 pledge. No businessman can allow himself uh, to place a deposit with the bank and then to take loan from the bank. This is a nonsense. This is absurd. What does it mean to fund a loan where a social and an enterprise would like to develop and needs loan for buying equipment, for example? Uh, the bank do not like to see equipment uh, as a um, pledge. Uh, then uh, our program uh, place money into some uh, uh, partner bank. We have a, sh a shut bank and uh, credit bank as our partners. We place one million, for example, to this uh, uh, bank. Uh, uh, and we say that uh, we are not going to get uh, uh, interests uh, on our million deposits, uh, uh, but uh, we would like you to provide uh, uh, loans to social entrepreneurs uh, at easy terms, at low interest rates, such things to be supported. Unfortunately, social investment program is the only one telling that we are ready to provide loans at low interest rates to social enterprises. Nobody uh, does so here in Ukraine. Unfortunately, um, uh, 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 it's said that uh, Anna Gabko went to the other meeting because we need uh, to establish programs uh, uh, promoting uh, small and medium businesses development. Uh, thank you for your attention. I'm sure we will continue our talk in the round of questions and answers to attract any loan. A business plan should be developed either by a cooperative or by a social entrepreneur. An individual should understand, uh, should learn uh, uh, to be a businessman. Let's ask about this, uh, Professor Tatiana Kamin. Rector of Kiev Cooperative Institute of Business and Law. Uh, thank you, and thank you for inviting me here. Uh, I support uh, Mr. Sveredad uh, uh, Svita in that uh, education uh, should uh, not lag behind the uh, development of other um, uh, sectors of economy, uh, both uh, f family and uh, higher education institutions, colleges, uh, schools, they can influence positively and on development of minds of young people and philosophy of cooperatives should be communicated to young people. They are equality, fairness, uh, social responsibility, justice. Uh, These uh, values, uh, when young people comply with them, respect them, then uh, such young person will think not about maximum uh, profits, but about maximum social welfare. That is why uh, we uh, focus attention on uh, such disciplines in our institutes as cooperation. Uh, 
and we take part in different conferences thanks to Mr. Zinovi we uh, will uh, we suppose that we will have result uh, not only at the level of our institute and cooperative alliance but but at the higher level more broad effects uh, a component of our academic uh, plans uh, is also social and spiritual comp com co components uh, because education uh, religion and science should be together in some time we we should tell about this we shouldn't fear uh, to tell about this uh, Lubomir Guzar met uh, students and uh, teachers of our institute and as a result of this meeting his uh, own books uh, uh, were transferred to our library uh, and uh, he as a metropolitan uh, he was telling how to use the power, the state, uh, for the common good. Yes, it is possible. And the same concerns uh, businessmen. They can be rich and fair at the same time. So my motto is that uh, the education, the government, and the private sector should unite their efforts for prosperity. Uh, good, very good. Our dialogue proves that there are such trends and they are very uh, relevant, topical, and uniting our people. I would like to give the floor to Ms. Smagli. Uh, she is the founder of Social Entrepreneurship Center in Kiev. Ms. Katerina, what do you think about formation of the medium class in Ukraine? Thank you for invitation and uh, thank you for the initiative of this event uh, that you in in initiated this event. I would like to start with the background. Social entrepreneurship started to develop uh, since 2004 uh, when the USA uh, Social Entrepreneurship Fund uh, came to Ukraine and this uh, uh, area is developed there not through cooperatives but through innovation innovative uh, IT technologies. Ukraine can use this potential as well uh, because not only agriculture can uh, develop uh, uh, social entrepreneurship. Learning these uh, best practices uh, I understood that for a long time we based on best practices from abroad. Vasil became the, uh, an entrepreneur uh, uh, thanks to Eurasia and other institutions uh, when they uh, founded consortium uh, for uh, social entrepreneurship centers were established. We lost two of them in Donetsk and Lugansk who, that uh, can uh, proceed promoting the uh, foundation of uh, the bill middle class in Ukraine. Thanks to Fulbright uh, scholarship, which I got, I learned in the USA development of the social entrepreneurship. So I call on uh, you to learn a shock foundation case which support annually lots of uh, middlemen in India, middle class businessmen in India, Brazil and other countries. Uh, it's a pity that uh, uh, 
we do not learn the, on their experience. Social entrepreneurship uh, co consists of two words, social and entrepreneurship. In the uh, conditions uh, where um, there are so many disadvantaged groups of people, IDPs, uh, who require some mechanism of social entrepreneurship which can help them to reintegrate very fast into Ukrainian society and to improve their economic uh, situation. Ukraine needs social entrepreneurship programs, but these programs uh, should uh, have uh, social reasoning. We should prove which the group of disadvantaged people uh, require assistance. We should uh, provide more clear definitions, not to be too broad. We can talk long uh, about this. Uh, as Ganna Gabko said, last week we had many meetings in the USA, in Washington. The first was uh, with uh, Hillary uh, Clinton's uh, um, head of uh, press of this uh, when we had that meeting, uh, social entrepreneurship was mentioned as one of the most uh, uh, prospective uh, spheres where businesses uh, uh, and uh, the state uh, can uh, uh, come to a breakthrough. It was interesting to, for me to see a person who was at the uh, grassroots at the in initial stage of social entrepreneurship. And uh, thanks to Western NAS Fund, a good program uh, was mentioned, which uh, was established in Ukraine. And I hope that in Ukraine, thanks to legislative support, what uh, there are two members of parliament uh, uh, present among the audience today here. Uh, so uh, thank you for your invitation again. Uh, well, let's mm, continue with the round of questions and answers. Your initiatives are welcome. So please raise hands and ask questions. Uh, when the thoughts and ideas uh, are generated, I would like to ask you to provide some recommendations. We talked about important aspects of development of social entrepreneurship. Let's uh, imagine there is a community and several activists. What to do to become a social entrepreneur or to create a cooperative? What steps uh, uh, should be? What is the algorithm? your recommendations and your uh, thoughts. For example, uh, one of the steps how to unite business, science, and uh, power uh, crisis is when institutions live their own lives separately. That is why we told our students uh, to take a specific village to make a research into that village, and then uh, they uh, develop their diploma thesis based on the example of a specific village. Uh, we always think uh, about our shortcomings, but we don't think about our resources, which we already have. Uh, demographic resources, territories, 
about 60 percent of all products and services consumed in villages, they are very low quality. Social entrepreneurs uh, were to refinance uh, funds uh, so that they remain to local level. That is why this uh, artificial Poverty uh, is generated in Ukraine because working assets uh, were uh, siphoned from Ukraine to offshore zones. Uh, we need an impetus of international economy development uh, uh, to have impact on uh, uh, villages and other rural areas of Ukraine because uh, depressive re uh, regions, uh, they do not exist. Uh, there are uh, just not developed territories, so villages should know of what uh, uh, to do to gain profits. Uh, where this could be studied, uh, who, uh, what institutions in Ukraine provide such educational programs? Uh, uh, what to do to get a loan uh, for a social enterprise or a cooperative? How these simple things may uh, ordinary people do? First, you can read my book, Social and entrepreneurship and philanthropy, uh, where I explain uh, the steps uh, to be made to establish social enterprise in different areas, uh, even in journalism or other social initiatives, environmental area. Social entrepreneurs uh, in environmental sphere, they are very um relevant uh, you know what is happening in Lviv with the landfills which are burning uh, you can go to the website social business ua where for several years we have collected many links to other programs other international programs where many articles uh, translations are available so for a person for an individual who is interested in this uh, uh, they can really uh, learn on our side this gap uh, uh, is filled now. Now we do not uh, lag behind uh, in uh, the area of uh, information uh, because many uh, studies and articles have been already translated. Uh, you can also apply to Mr. Uh, Zinovis Verida because this is his. Uh, job, uh, then uh, ordinary people will understand that they will never remain alone because there are very many institutions uh, who are close to you and are ready to provide you technical assistance. Vasil can now tell you Mr. Vasil Nazaruk from NIS Enterprise Fund can tell you about this. My name is Maxim. I am from Legal Hundreds. Uh, we deal with ATO uh, cases. Uh, social entrepreneurship is a very interesting idea because soldiers coming from ATO 
they all have psychological traumas. All of them would like to open their businesses, and they got into situation when there is some fund which is uh, uh, um, ready to provide money, and uh, there is even the Novi, and. Uh, but mass media, they do not communicate such information. And you know that military men, soldiers, uh, they do not believe anyone. Uh, many of them, they are willing uh, to uh, go in to agriculture because uh, their privileges include two hectares uh, of uh, land which they may receive from the state. Uh, they can take money in a shut bank. There were two cases. Well, a shut bank mm, told us, but to go to the website, uh, I uh, put my many efforts to find uh, those uh, forms, those forms for applications. Uh, it was very hard. And you know that ATO military men, uh, they uh, may be very good top managers of restaurants or cafes. Uh, uh, but uh, wait for response to the applications which they submitted through the website. This bureaucracy uh, mechanism, this is very uh, challenging to them. So we have the hotline, and when uh, soldiers uh, telephone to us, uh, uh, they do not believe that they can found the business. Information should be communicated uh, through mass media. Let it be an umbrella, big umbrella, an administrative center like in Georgia, uh, where a person can come uh, just to have some communication, some talk, some dialogue. Thank you. Thank you for your comment. Yes, communication problem is uh, uh, really uh, in place. There are initiatives of IFIs. Uh, they are good professional. They'll allow to use mechanism, but society not always here, not always is ready uh, to perceive such communication. Uh, social entrepreneurship uh, uh, exists thanks uh, to uh, understanding in the society why social entrepreneurship has been founded. Not only all mass media wrote about social entrepreneurship, uh, but even New York Times wrote an article about social entrepreneurship in Ukraine. So I disagree that it is not covered in mass media. Just a few words. I know good, uh, some veterans, uh, one uh, young man, one soldier, told me that I am a military man. I don't understand legal information. And I was told uh, to develop a business plan. I don't know what is it. And uh, the uh, um, unemployment center, they were delivering uh, the courses uh, how to write business plans. Uh, and Leonid Stalsev, uh, uh, he wrote the business plan, and he went to look for an investor. He found investors who invested money into his business. Uh, but this is a rare case. 
the main thing I always believed and when you are doing business with love and first you would like to make a business but not money and when the main thing is what you will provide to society this is just the main principle of social entrepreneurship this is business with love but how to make it affordable to hundreds of thousands of people who can be engaged in this process process and become a broad middle class, which is the majority in foreign countries, but not uh, individual cases. First, I will start with a shut bank. The website, yes, uh, I also put uh, uh, large efforts to find applications, uh, forms at the Shadbank website. It is really hard to find it. I know this problem. Uh, so we are now working on uh, communicating information about applications, uh, uh, how to find the them, how to feel them. Thanks God, uh, we uh, got an agreement with the Shad Bank that not only correct writing of business plan is uh, the main thing to get a loan. We are working with banks and we make two expert uh, assessments. We provide expert assessment of social aspect and, may, and bank make financial assessment of financial aspects. And now there is understanding with the bank that the bank is also ready to provide consultations, for example, about cash flows of what for they can take money uh, what for they can't take money so working assets uh, they can't be filled with loans uh, when application is submitted to us first businessmen uh, pr submit business plans uh, uh, who understand and how to write business plans, but there is no social component. And there is another problem when uh, social entrepreneurs uh, who have uh, excellent social component, they absolutely are um, in, incapable to write business plans. They do not have knowledge how to write business plans. So uh, we don't tell them that your business plan doesn't uh, to suit us. Uh, we try to improve the quality of such application. Uh, well, if uh, this uh, entrepreneur uh, would like to know why his application has not been approved, we provide consultations to explain what was wrong. Uh, anyway, uh, when uh, some individuals create jobs, uh, they try to demonstrate this like a social component, but this is not social component. Any business create jobs. Talking about social enterprises, the advantages before uh, as against conventional businesses. Uh, for example, pizza veteran. Uh, why uh, all people went to go to this veteran uh, to buy pizzas because uh, veterans, uh, they are vulnerable people, they have stories to tell. This is uh, the demand for charitable activity. This is social enterprises which produce something. They produce services and they produce stories which are important and which are in demand. 
so demand for social enterprises is huge. What we are now doing to promote social entrepreneurship uh, besides uh, uh, the uh, that uh, which Katerina Smogli said we created social business in UAE portal where we highlight and cover all facts concerning social entrepreneurship. We also think about other scenes such as creating books uh, <clears throat> manuals to learn social entrepreneurship at grassroots level and we also started the course in Kiev Makela Academy on Social Entrepreneurship and we tried to uh, provide a course of social entrepreneurship uh, in Lviv Business School, a Ukrainian Catholic University. And uh, I hope uh, uh, to revive trainings which we previously also delivered so uh, that everyone uh, uh, who would like to fill out application forms for loans as social entrepreneurs. They ca just can get uh, from the web a webinar material, video material, and learn how to fill out the application form. We use the same way uh, uh, because uh, many people come to us, uh, uh, help us uh, to fill in an application form for a land pro plot for veterans. Uh, uh, Prometheus provided online training because many ATO vets, uh, they uh, read online Prometheus website, so please um, contact them. Uh, when a video lecture is provided, then a person can understand uh, how uh, to write a business plan because even uh, people with high educational background don't understand uh, sometimes how to write the business plans. Yes, we have already talked to Prometheus uh, about such a course on writing business plans. Why uh, we have not yet uh, produced such webinar, although we already have uh, arrangements. Uh, because we would like uh, to look uh, how those loans which have been provided by the banks, uh, what effects they will have, how they would develop, then the product would be really good and in demand uh, among potential social entrepreneurs. So the ways of education and awareness raising is to use social media, which will allow people to hear, to see practical examples how uh, to meet uh, requirements uh, to found a cooperative or social enterprise, but talking about the general national level, uh, whether the legislation is of high standard which regulate cooperatives and social entrepreneurship activities. Uh, here we have uh, an MP who we can ask about this. Uh, well, Victor Romanuk, well, as concerned public awareness, uh, we also try once a month to go to universities and to tell students what social entrepreneurship is, how to develop it, how to promote it. As concerns legislation, when I analyzed it, 
Everything is good when we analyze Ukrainian legislation. As a person who was a businessman in five European states for small businesses, we have favorable conditions in Ukraine, just ideal one. I was in Italy, Germany, Lithuania. We do not have people uh, who have mentality of businessmen. This is the main philosophy. Uh, I told you that we have only 5% of people who are ready to take responsibility, while in Italy, 67%. In Brazil, 70% of GDP are formed by small and medium enterprises. In 1989, when privatization started simultaneously in Brazil and Ukraine, Brazilian economy is on the seventh or eighth place in the world because the state told them everything which you earn, this would be yours. As concerned Ukrainian economy, we are uh, on the bottom already, but we try to go lower than the bottom. Concerning social standards, this is utopia, what uh, Yulia Timoshenko is saying. Uh, all those uh, speeches in s uh, if uh, in Swiss Parliament or Norwegian Parliament they uh, t uh, just listen to uh, Ukrainian parliamentary uh, debates, uh, they would say that we are crazy. Uh, when there are resources, then you can. Uh, talk about spending them. So we should follow healthy European pragmatism. When value added is already created, then we can spend it for social welfare benefits. For example, Fukushima uh, exploded and there were 250 persons uh, who now are eligible to benefits as victims. Uh, so first, um, this state in the legislation should establish uh, uh, um, uh, incentives for people to work. Uh, it should state, uh, we can give you loans uh, uh, but uh, if you do not work, then you will have nothing to eat. So legislative framework is uh, rather good in Ukraine. The only thing is how to settle uh, the uh, legislative acts uh, about uh, uh, loan unions, associations, uh, because... Um, when uh, we had crisis, uh, they just uh, uh, wound up and stole money. So this question uh, should be addressed uh, through the legislation about loans associations. And as concerns IDPs, uh, any civilized state like the USA, uh, they would provide IDPs loans, but not provide them subsidies. Uh, for example, just uh, here you can have some land plots, you can take loans and work and uh, take responsibility for your household, for your family, for your community. But our mentality is to provide uh, subsidies. So we should change general philosophy uh, and to build bourgeois society. I understand uh, not civil society, but bourgeois society. And we should motivate people to work through taxes, through loans, and never 
give subsidies. So at the legislative level, you think everything is okay. Uh, well, let's ask practitioners about their opinions. Mr. Sinovi, can you comment on the legislative framework? Again, uh, we uh, started the project in Khmelnytsk region from scratch. It was how to do something from scratch. This when the team first created prerequisite conditions. I would like to give uh, uh, the floor uh, to uh, one member of our audience to tell about other projects in beekeeping, in other agricultural cooperatives. Uh, well, uh, is it... Uh, uh, so how how do you work uh, uh, in a local level? Could you tell us? I am a head of community project. Based on our NGO, we are to create a cooperative. I have a question to all the speakers. Our state for 25 years has been in the transition and uh, we can't finish this transition period. Uh, we are on the way from socialist uh, to capitalist society all those years. Uh, could the moral and ethic principles in society, uh, do they coincide with the uh, status of society if loans are provided, they are eaten out and social enterprise this is responsibility and to form some other philosophy in the society uh, you should raise moral and ethic values in society because this is responsibility so your question is how to do that well mm, Maybe the examples which are available in Ukraine, this is first uh, national agrarian cooperative in Khmelnytsky. People started from themselves, from moral values. That is why they succeeded. And those people who start from economy, but not from ethical and moral values, uh, they uh, finish without success. I think and this is right to tell that the moral and ethical principles are at lower level than in the Western Europe. Our moral and ethics is higher than in many European countries because they also uh, have corruption cases. This is legal financial corruption cases in their countries. I agree with Victor as concerns our legislative framework. Yes, it is favorable for social entrepreneurship. No additional laws should be adopted. In the USA, there are no preferences to social entrepreneurs as compared to any other entrepreneurs in the USA. The only way to um, promote uh, in communication of information is uh, to have uh, a sign that you are a social entrepreneur. Ukraine should think about such a sign uh, through some civil society institution or uh, at the ministry of social policy, social effects of social entrepreneurship should be analyzed and studied. Uh, it, it is um, just uh, uh, some fiction when a person is saying that he is a social entrepreneur. Uh, we can uh, see for uh, if we can see on some 
products, some goods, if they have some marks on them that they are produced by social enterprises, then uh, uh, I, as a consumer, I will buy products manufactured by social enterprises. Uh, in other countries, uh, uh, procurement uh, also concerns uh, uh, this um, factor uh, when uh, in public procurement uh, uh, two applications uh, are submitted for a tendering procedure, the state is obliged uh, to select the application of a social entrepreneur as con compared to conventional uh, businessmen. Yes, uh, the level of motivation of audience and panelists uh, we can feel now there are many nuances uh, uh, demand fruitful discussions maybe it would be useful for us uh, to arrange not only round table discussions but also to establish a work group uh, to um, create products of social entrepreneurship to conduct public awareness campaigns to form a relevant middle class layer which uh, should become a driver of this driver of the state development in general of course investments uh, are needed into uh, into studies of social entrepreneurship so that we can teach people to be social entrepreneurs so this is the uh, just initial uh, uh, initial stage now uh, when uh, public uh, and business and social and civil society organization will unite uh, and this would allow to efficiently develop to small and medium enterprises and new style of thinking in our society. Uh, thank you, our panelists, uh, for your speeches, for your contribution to the joint um, efforts on development of social entrepreneurship because we have very high cause development of our country. Thank you for your participation and for your attention. Uh, my na name is Daria. Is there a future uh, for uh, small cooperatives? And the second question, how a cooperative should uh, act, uh, should operate uh, when the six principle cooperation uh, between cooperatives because isolated community can't survive uh, in uh, the world as it is so you should seek people uh, who think uh, uh, like-minded people and uh, form a comp complex uh, cooperative cycle. So Ukrainian Cooperative Alliance produced such things. You can talk of records w with them. Uh, we are limited in time. Thank you.